So you have a new Quest 3, or even a Quest 2, or even a Quest Pro. The question I have for you is, are you using it to its full potential? And there's a very, very good chance that you're not. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 14 different tips and tricks that you can use for your Quest 3, starting with tip one. Now the pass through on the Quest 3 is fantastic. People are using it to go out and about in the world and enjoy virtual reality everywhere. Tip number one is a fairly simple one, and it should be a fairly obvious one. Do not drive a car while wearing this. I don't think I need to explain to you as much as you probably could drive a car while wearing this, there's a good chance that the screen might randomly turn off or an artifact might suddenly appear in your way, like your menu. And then suddenly you're gonna be hitting kids and all sorts of stuff. Just don't do it, seriously. Done. Now we got that one out of the way, tip two. Turn on phone notifications. Now in your settings, you can enable phone notifications to pass whatever's going on on your phone through to your headset. Now it isn't easy to sort of keep on track of what's going on in your notifications and people calling and texting when you have your headset on because you're immersed. That's the whole point of virtual reality. But if you're willing to sacrifice some of that immersion, you can switch the setting on and then you can still be in touch with the rest of the world. Tip number three, are you getting blur? Are you getting smearing? Are you getting light sort of bleeding when you're in high contrast areas on the headsets? Chances are you're not cleaning your lenses. You dirty pig! And I think we're all a bit guilty of that. They don't give you a cloth in the box. I do recommend that every so often you do wipe your lenses with a microfiber cloth. Now avoid anything wet Anything, um, alcohol, none of that. It sounds like it's a good idea, it's not worth it. A dry microfiber cloth, something as simple as that, like you would use for your glasses. Wipe your lenses, do it. Now tip number four, keeping on with the lenses, same as any other VR headset, keep those lenses away from direct sunlight. Now I don't know if you've ever heard about a magnifying glass and the ant, and how that story goes. Well, let's swap out that ant, the poor sad ant with the LCD screen behind your lenses. Now, if you leave this in direct sunlight, there is a very good chance, and it does happen to people, where the sun comes in, is magnified by the lens onto your screen and burns it. If you want to keep your headset working and looking good, keep it away from sunlight. Now, tip number five, do you get sore eyes when you're playing VR? If you've been doing it for quite a while, similar to me, I do, there's something you can do to ease that. You can turn on night mode. Now, what night mode does is it switches everything to be a sort of slightly yellower version of it. It cuts out a lot of the harsher light colors. Now, whether you're playing close to bedtime, I would recommend switching on night mode. And if you're just sort of finding that your eyes are feeling a bit sore, if you're not gonna be taking a break, night mode should be your first step. Tip six, measure your IPD. Another thing that can sort of hurt your eyes is the interpupillary distance. That is the distance between your pupils and the distance between the lenses. Now, if you don't match that up correctly, then you can get a whole load of nasty side effects from eye strain to headaches and even nausea. Now, as much as the Quest 3 has very, very good pancake lenses with a very good sweet spot, it doesn't make you immune from these things. So one thing that you can do to make sure that the IPD is as correct as possible and not just basing it off of guesswork, is to actually measure the distance between your pupils. Now you can do that a few ways and there are apps available to sort of help you with that. Um, but just the manual way and the way that you can do it on your own right now, if you have a ruler or a measuring tape, you can do this. What you need to do is you need to close one eye and get the start of your ruler or measuring tape and look into a mirror. You want to line up that pupil with the eye that is open. Obviously hold it fairly close to your face. The next step is to Hold it still, close that eye and open the other eye, and then measure where the pupil is on the other eye. Now that will give you the most accurate reading that you can probably get without going to um, an optician. From doing this method, I worked out that my IPD is 67. So I know that I can set my interpupillary distance to 67 on my headset, and it is perfect for me. Tip number seven. Now this one should be fairly obvious, and actually is getting less and less necessary with how good the Quest 3 is, but you want to be playing in a bright room. Ow. 
The darker your room, the more the headset's gonna struggle to be able to keep the tracking. The tracking is knowing exactly where it is and how it's positioned to avoid you stuttering, losing control of where your arms are and all that stuff. So best thing to do is make sure you're playing in a bright room and that also benefits you when it comes to hand tracking and hand tracking is becoming more and more a usable thing with the Quest 3. So I'd recommend when you're playing with this, make sure you're in a well-lit room. Now tip number eight is something that as I'm recording this video, doesn't actually exist just yet on the Quest 3. But by the time you're watching it, maybe it will. And that is voice commands. Now voice commands will be coming to this headset very, very soon. And it means you're gonna be able to do things like open apps and doing stuff just from the power of your voice, which will make life a little bit easier than having to constantly navigate the variety of menus that you have on the Quest 3. So when that comes out, make sure that you set it up so you can make your life that much easier. Now tip number nine is something that you can do to extend the battery life of this headset. The battery life of the Quest 3 is probably my biggest pet peeve. It's um, a lot less than its predecessor and it's because it's doing more. Now you can actually increase the battery life slightly. I'm not gonna say it's gonna change your life, but if you want to increase it, you can turn down the brightness of the screen and that will extend your battery life. So if you're planning on playing a longer session, you want to make sure that you have enough battery to get past and get through that. If you're not gonna be using a battery head strap or anything like that, turn your brightness down, it might not be as nice an experience, but you will get that little bit of extra life. Now the next step is easy recording and easy screenshots. Now whether you're hand tracking or using the controllers, there is a much easier way to do screenshots and to start recording than to just go through the menus, go open up the camera app and press record. With hand tracking, it's fairly simple. You just hold your, pinch your fingers together and then wait and then a little recording button will come up and you move your fingers to those buttons and you'll start recording. On your controller, if you hold down the meta button, if you just hold that down, what's gonna happen is you're gonna recenter your vision. But if whilst holding it, you then press the trigger, that's gonna take a screenshot. If whilst holding it, you then hold down the trigger, that's gonna start recording. Now, another thing you might wanna do is change your recording settings. Now the default recording that you do is just a very simple square. You can change the resolution to increase it and to make it a normal landscape mode by going into the settings. When you go into the camera settings, you can change which eye gets recorded. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of um, shooting with guns and you wanna look down the sights, you can make sure you're picking the right eye to record from, but also you can increase the resolution and the frame rate that you record at. Now one big feature of the Quest 3 that is gonna become more and more popular as more and more apps get announced is the sort of main menu, in a sense, uh, being able to open up apps in 2D in your home environment, whether you're doing it virtual or through pass-through. Now I've done it where I've had YouTube videos open and stuff like that, but you can actually multitask whilst doing it. All you need to do is drag the app icon over to one side and then that will create a new space for you to have a second app. You can even do this with browser tabs. You can take your browser tab by holding down at the bottom and dragging it over to one way or the other to be able to have multiple windows of different things open at the same time. Now tip number 13 is to look into your settings around the boundary. You can change a whole bunch of things with your boundary settings that make sort of using this a lot more of a better experience. You can also change what color your boundary comes up as, how sensitive your boundary is, and you can go in there to erase all saved boundaries that you have on there if they're sort of messing up with things going forward. Now finally, tip 14 is how you can use this device to play with other people. Now you can cast what you can see onto anything that involves Chromecast, so like a TV or a little Chrome disk thing that you plug into your TV. Any TV running Android or Google Play, you should be able to cast to, but you can also cast to a web browser or even your phone. Now, if you do decide to use your phone to cast, it actually gives you some extra controls that you can use to sort of assist your friends when they are trying out your headset. Now you can recenter them, you can bring them back to home, and you can even launch them directly into apps to avoid them having to scroll through the menus and use awkwardly trying to explain where they need to go and how they need to do things. So guys, that is all my tips at the moment for the Quest 3. Are there any that I've missed? Are there any tips that you have for other people watching this video? Stick them down in the comments below and I'd love to read them as well. And maybe if we have enough of them, I'll make another video. For more stuff about the Quest 3 and other gaming tech, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Whoop!